Hi guys, this is how to play your B7 chord. Um, this can be used as a slightly easier alternative to a standard B major chord uh, because the only way that you can play a B major chord is with a bar chord in standard tuning which can be quite scary and very hard to do for beginners and uh, this B7 chord can be used in, re in replacement of that but also B7 tends to crop up in an awful lot of songs to, from blues to uh, more folky style songs and this is also crucial finger training in preparation for learning a big bad F bar chord which is this bad boy that can be a very tough um, one of the toughest beginner chords to play because once you can do that F bar chord kind of all the other bar chords all open up to you but that first one an F tends to be used with open chords as well so we're having to use all your standard major open chords that we've covered already in this beginners course but then change your shape totally for example from a C to flattening off your first finger so if we can play this B7 chord um, and have a, a couple of songs that you can use to, to exercise it with common chord changes then you are superbly placed to be able to breeze through your F bar chord which can be really tricky and uh, we're going to look at some different options we have with it without further ado let's get straight in for a close up okay so here it is here's your B7 chord um, it's easiest to get to this B7 chord from a chord you already know so maybe your E major play your E major forward. we're going to move this first finger up one string so it's on the fourth string still at the first fret we're going to move your third finger down one string and this tends to be a seventh shape that's repeated an awful lot on guitar and then we just need your little finger on the second fret of the E string and this is our B7 chord remembering that all these fingers should be over your side of the fret not over at this side and not kind of squished up like this or too flat otherwise it just ain't gonna ring out whatever you do you need to be right on the tips of your fingers like this and the most common change of uh, that uses a B7 would be an E major where we have a middle finger that doesn't move. This middle finger between E major and B7 doesn't move at all. So that's a really great exercise, just drilling one chord, then the other. Trying desperately not to get that middle finger to move trying to keep all your tips on the fingers without any of them kind of going flat like this or maybe your third finger just can't help but go flat like this if you use the Noel Gallagher method of doing a G or a C then this should be a little bit more familiar to you keeping your on your tips of your fingers um, but that's the easier change that gets used in a, a 12 bar blues uh, in E and an awful lot of kind of uh, pop songs basically um, again you can use this B7 anytime you don't want to do this horrible nasty B major chord where we're having to bar with your first finger or maybe maybe do it like this I've personally never got on with it this way at all um, I, I always do a bar chord like this um, the other most common change that uses this B7 is from a G so I would definitely advise G to a B7 doing it with the Noel Gallagher method so that we're already using or a big G as I also call it already using all four fingers that little finger can stay down but in essence we're gonna have to lift off all your fingers a little bit most likely and play uh, your B7 like this you can bring this thumb over the top if you want with this B7 though that's not essential you can move your middle finger up just a little bit so that it mutes this thickest E string here so that one's not heard and we can strum all the strings and it still sounds cool or just try not to play your thickest E string if you do it's 
probably not going to sound great. So try and find a way of muting it or strum it normally and uh, try not to play it. Um, so yes, G to a B7 is very tough, but I kind of nicknamed this the, the busker's change. When I hear songs that do this sort of thing, it's kind of your typical singer-songwriter chord. Happens a lot in a few Oasis songs, so uh, stand by me. Um, and then through it up on Sunday. Now. Got a lot of things to learn. Uh, we'll be having a go at that in a later video. Um, sitting on the dock of the bay is kind of the standard one that I use at this stage. So, sitting in the morning sun, I'll be sitting when the evening comes. So check out that video if you can kind of do this change and um, you dig the sound of that. Can sound really sophisticated compared to, you know, G, D, C, which after a while, a lot of songs sound very similar. It's very well used, but it just, it lacks something a little bit different sometimes. This B7 shakes it up a little, gives you some real sophistication. And it sounds really cool. Uh, the seventh part of it um, comes from this third finger here. You don't have to know what a seventh chord is yet, um, but I will tell you that it does make it sound kind of jazzy or specifically bluesy. Um, if you see a chord that has a seventh next to it, it should sound bluesy. I'm going to do a video later on on what seventh chords are all about. Okay, so that's how to play your B7 chord. Please check out the other songs on my website or in this playlist. Um, that use this B7 change and hopefully that will be a big help for when you come to play an F bar chord. Please subscribe if you like this video and as I say check out my website and I'm sure I'll see you again.